I was probably around eight years old when I remember drawing and I felt something happen inside me when I drew. The drawing probably wasn't brilliant or <laughs> that great, but something happened inside me. I felt that voice that was mine that I was looking for, but I also realized that I could draw a little bit better than other people around me. I knew that some friends could dance and some could play musical instruments, but I knew that art was me. That was my little vein in my life of something that made me special. When I think of my art and what's unique about the way that I work that might be different from somebody else is that I look at the way that light hits things, how light not only illuminates form, but light carries color. I will sit in a scene maybe for 20 minutes and just sit still and just watch the light while my fellow painters are all sitting around me painting. After I was a painter for about five years, I went through a very challenging time personally in my life and I lost my voice. I couldn't paint because I didn't feel it inside anymore. And at this time, my husband saw the struggle that I was going through and he thought it would be a good idea for us to pursue my interest in old trucks. And he bought me an old truck and we restored it together. And through this truck, I started falling in love with not only the lines of the truck, but looking at the history of these old trucks. The hard use, the abuse that happened to them. I could see in myself that the struggles that I had gone through didn't make me damaged. What it did is that they became part of my character lines. When I first started painting, I was very, very attracted to shiny chrome and reflective glass and pristine flowers and babies' faces, all of these perfectly beautiful and exquisite things. But as time's gone on, I am far more interested in the weathered, the textured, the broken, you know, all of these, these new symbols of um, character. Painting trucks, I found my voice again. I had lost it before the trucks. I, I didn't know what to paint. I didn't, I didn't have a story in me to tell. I was lost. And when the trucks came into my life, I felt I had a story again. So if I'd have to say what has been the greatest blessing in my life, it'd have to be my husband. He has been the one that saw the creative spirit in me before I ever painted. He knew that there was something there and he nurtured it. He was the one that would encourage me to do things that frightened me. And he gave me the courage knowing that no matter what happened, he believed in me and I needed that. I look at his hands. His hands have worked so incredibly hard. He has so many scars on his hands. His hands are large and they're calloused. And I love those hands. I mean, I, I look at his hands and they just make me very, very happy. They have a story to tell. When I start to paint something, what I'm really going to see is that I discover the subject matter as I paint it. I come to see the planes on the surface. I start to observe the light. And when I'm done painting it, I'm done. The experience is over. I'm finished. And so I enjoy the process, being in the midst of the painting. When I first started painting, I was very timid. Um, afraid that I would do something wrong or that um, I wouldn't be good enough. I, I, I didn't think very highly of myself. And it's interesting, through art, I became a stronger person. And today, I take groups to Europe 
I go all over the world. I mean, I'm not afraid. And that's really funny because before I had art, it's amazing how much time I spent being afraid of the world. And now I'm just excited. I, I love to get out there. I, I can't wait to see what's going to open up before me. When I think about what art is to me, art fills my life. Um, art is a way for me to express myself. Art is a way to bring joy into my life. Art is what I use to decorate my home in ways that bring me joy. Art is my voice. It helps me to say things that I can't say with words alone. Art, in so many ways, is what completes me.